Hello you guys, so today we're gonna do an 09 Maserati Quattro Fode. It's a old kilo situation. And we're gonna try to do the programming, so we're gonna go Maserati. We're gonna go manual selection. Of course the key is on on position. We're gonna be connected with the XP400 and uh, Alto. I'm gonna choose Quattro Forte, seven to 12. It's a blade key. It's the key that looks like that. I'm just gonna hit yes. We currently have no chip that starts the car. Sorry for the screen being a little bit dirty. We're gonna go with control unit, immobilizer. It's gonna be one of the two. I'm not so sure. Just gonna choose the first one. Okay, it doesn't connect. So we're just gonna go for the second one. And it doesn't connect. We're gonna go emo functions. We're gonna go read immobilizer data. So here we have the immobilizer data. Let me switch the ignition off. Now we're waiting for the ECU authorization. It says it's taking 20 minutes. Um, so we're just gonna wait and see what happened. I will get to you guys when I come back. So I switched from that authorization screen to this screen and it says fail to read data. So I just gonna choose the first option. I'm gonna go to emo functions. I'm going to go to read immobilizer data. So we got the immobilizer data right here. And we're going to hit OK. That tells us to turn the ignition to off. And now we're going to wait for the authorization. Let's see how long it takes. Usually it's going to take like about 10 minutes. Just going to wait for that. So after the trying to get that approval, it's going to go to this screen, it says reading EEPROM. Okay, we got the reading, thank God. Um, so after we got this, we're just going to hit OK, it's going to load the EEPROM. Mm. You can guys just save it, but I will just put something from myself just so I remember where it is. And now you can generate uh, with this key data. Um, we're just gonna hit OK. Now we're gonna go and gonna do uh, make dealer key option right here. Gonna need to load the the data, so we're just gonna load. This is the file we just saved. Just gonna hit OK, and I think we're gonna need to put the key here, but we might need to put the car, the car on position. But we're gonna try that. So connect the programmer and put the 48 uh, chip inside. It's connecting to the programmer. It's checking the chip. And generating the dealer key. Sometimes it doesn't read for you the EEPROM, just use the other option. So it's gonna do that for you guys. So the, the dealer key is successfully generated. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead 
don't want to make another deal key. Now we're just going to go and do learning. So we're going to go to key learning. After we have generated the, the key, all keys start the vehicle needs to be here. So if you just adding a key, make sure you have the other key. Just going to hit OK. The pin code will already be here. And we're just going to hit OK. We insert already the key. It's already an on. Now we're going to turn it to off. Now we're going to switch it to on again. The learning is successful. We do not want to do another key, so we're just going to hit no. Part number of keys are one. So guys, this is how you're going to do an all key loss situation for a Maserati Quattro Forte. As you can see, no, no security light, no nothing. Car started right away. This is how you do the job. It was an okay low situation. We didn't have a key that starts the car. Uh, we had a little bit problems uh, uh, reading the ECU. It keep telling us uh, no, like the ECU is not connected or cannot read the car, but we kept trying. Eventually it got connected. So if you guys get stuck and it doesn't give you the reading, just keep reading.